Hello, I'm Christoph Elser, Product Manager at Testo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine volume flow at a swirl outlet with the Testo 420, once with and once without the app. For the first measurement without the app, I first of all set up the hood. This is quickly done because there are marks for fitting the tension rods on the inside and on the base. Here we can also see Testo 420's patented flow straightener. It enables the turbulent air to be straightened as it impacts the measurement cross. This gives us considerably more accurate measurement results. When everything is set up, you'll realize that the instrument is very light, with a weight of just 2.9 kilograms. Now I carry out the measurement without the app. We are working with a standard 610 by 610 millimeter hood on a typical swirl outlet. Of course, there are also larger and smaller hoods for the Testo 420. I switch the instrument on. Once I place the hood under the outlet, I have to wait at least five seconds until the measurement value has settled. I then stop the measurement with the button on the left-hand handle. To save the measurement, I select either the current folder or a new one. In this case, I'm using the current one. Once I've measured all the volume flows per outlet and saved them in a folder, the Testo 420 has the option of calculating the total volume flow. Okay, and now I'll show you how the Testo 420 works with the app. This is especially useful when you're working with the tripod on high ceilings. To do this, I activate Bluetooth in the instrument by holding down the arrow up button for three seconds. After I open the Testo 420 app, I first have to connect to the instrument. The current measurement values are immediately displayed as individual values, as a graph, or as a table. I can choose between single measurement or timed mean value calculation. With stop, I can freeze the current measurement and save it in the current measurement folder. Apart from this, I have the possibility of calling up all measurements saved in the instrument. With the app, I can also very easily create a test report with my current measurement results. To do this, I press the Share icon and select Create Report. Here I can select all relevant measurement data. Apart from this, I can add more information such as contact data, comments, or even images. With Done, I can send the report directly by email. By the way, using the individual instrument without the hood, you can carry out a differential pressure measurement or a pitot tube measurement. That's all for today. I hope I've been able to show you that it's really easy to determine volume flow with the Testo 420. See you next time.